And the holidays mean people will be enjoying some amazing meals. But while delicious, they're not necessarily the healthiest. A local dietitian and personal trainer are sharing some tips on how you can moderate unhealthy eating. Jordan Johnson is back with us again with more. It's all about willpower and just trying to be strong for yourself. Whether it's baking Christmas sweets or eating grandma's pumpkin pie, many find it difficult to eat healthy during the holiday season. Carissa Lawless, a personal trainer, says that eating sweets or going back for second helpings doesn't have to be a bad thing. Focus on portion sizes. Um, you can always eat multiple times as long as the portion sizes are not enough to make you feel sick. Sometimes it can be easy to get excited about the amazing food. The reason why we eat well most days um, of the year is to enjoy a holiday. Lawless says the consequences of continually overeating can be long-term and detrimental. You end up still overeating and continue to overeat, gain weight, and a high blood pressure, cholesterol, everything like that. According to James, the effects are also on your mental health. We know that food affects our mood. So if we're consuming foods that are higher in fat, higher in especially the saturated fat, um, then we do know that it kind of brings our mood down. James and Lawless both say it takes self-control to minimize temptations the holiday foods can bring. If you can remove the, the temptation and not leave it kind of in your home, then you can enjoy it, you know, as a treat on a holiday or at an event, and then you don't have to feel the need to consume more of it or finish it as we, as we all do. They also say it's important to implement physical activity into your holidays. According to James, you can make it as much of a tradition as the holiday meals you eat. If you set a plan and you stick to your plan, we usually all always feel pretty good about that, right? So if we um, have kind of some guidelines put it, that we put for ourselves in place um, and we stick to that, I think that that ultimately will make you feel pretty good. Definitely some useful tips there to keep in mind. Now, Sarah James says a fun way to get your family active is doing a friendly competition, such as seeing who can get in the most steps a day.